Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Prince Student Common needs to catch on fire. There we go. So that we can, uh, light five braziers. And impress Ramesses, King of the Sarcophagi, in order to, uh, get him to give us a special magical item. And in case this is the first episode you happen to be tuning into, I promise I'm not on drugs. I can't seem to set the other me's on fire. I think I checked that once. Okay, here we go. Ah. Let's try that again. Urinary tract infection. Third time's the charm. All right, let's do this. Charge! Uh, oh, ah! Dang, nabbit. Tell you what, I'll just cut to the one where I get it. Ah, oh, hell, I see what he's doing. Looking this through. Mm. Oh, this is the only one then. I'm not very good at this. Well, that didn't work out either. Okay, now it's for this. Uh, you were the one who was already there? Mm, yes.
Some of this asshole will get to give it a try. I honestly wouldn't mind if I wasn't such a pain in the ass getting back here every time. I have to climb the ladder and jump up the stupid steps. If I jump out, I face home. If I walk out, I don't. Go! Anyway, I gave my word, so here's your reward. Hope you can find some use for it. You got the tiny hands of a mun! This artifact gives Sphinx the strength to push and pull extremely heavy objects. The test of strength. Yeah. Beginner's luck, I suppose, he says. Mm. I didn't just bust my ass making that happen. Hello. Do you now? Hello again, Sphinx. I have some important information from Imhotep. He is pleased with your progress and with the artifact that I have here, the Hands of Amun. He sees that you are ready to begin your search for the Sacred Crown of Uruk. He believes that the crown may be in Uruk Islands, whatever that means, and that you will need to gain access to Great Wall Entrance 3 to get there. Honestly, that kind of feels like a placeholder title. You got the items that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. You got the hands of a moon. This artifact gives Sphinx the strength to push and pull extremely heavy objects. You got the fourth stolen Abydos jewel. Curators of Abydos Museum will be very pleased to see this. You got the 100 onyx scarabs that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Godly strength. Find the hands of Amun. Ugh. Heliopolis Point and Great Wall Entrance 3. Another spike spider. I can just run past you guys, you know that, right? You control the vertical, not the horizontal. Actually, before I finish up for the day, I just want to see what uh, happened to those guys who are worshipping the obelisk now that nothing is uh, left for them to wait for. They're just gone. Fair.
God damn it. Read the sign. Ah. Sekhmet Squirt Pen. Hello there. Say, so are you one of those adventurers in search of treasure and the like? Ah, oh, I thought so. You look the type. So, Mr. Adventurer, I'll make you an offer. I have a nice, shiny piece of treasure here that I'm sure you would find very interesting. If you can help me by hurting my squirts back into the pen here, I'll give you this piece of treasure. Excellent. Round up the squirts and come back to me. And talk, come back and talk to me when you've finished. Not today, friend. I'll just pick them up and throw them because that would be so useful. Get back here. Let me grab you. Damn it. Bring me there. I just need to save. Ah, oh. stretch. It has been a long day. There we go. Alrighty. If you're wondering why I put the elevator jump there instead of back at that stupid jumping puzzle, it's, uh... Because that one only felt like it took four million years, whereas this one took several days. Actually, ended up recording, uh, an extra half a video. Hey, perfect! This time I checked- <laughs> I had to check because I had no idea what I was going to do. We're looking for Great Wall Entrance 3. I was only standing there because that was Great Wall Entrance 2, and it was something uh, easy that I was going to be able to point at. Uh, is that up there? No. Oh god. Gotta say, it does feel odd to do a, uh, a session without... This looks like the place. It does feel odd to start a session of recording without doing an intro. What do you just... No. My beautiful blood. Ooh. He even gave my blood back. Oh, this was the feat of strength, wasn't it? I just got... something for that, didn't I? Uh, no, not over here. The Hands of a Moon, an ancient artifact which imbues you with the strength to push extremely heavy objects. Hmm. I think it would be neat if the gauntlets appeared on your hands and you did that, but I'll allow it. There's a long and storied history of games where, uh, your accessories and such don't appear on your physical model. I just look at Final Fantasy. After about the SNES era, they even stopped displaying your armor as a distinctive image. And even that was kind of iffy. I can only think of one... Which I don't even know if that was a Final Fantasy game I was thinking of. After a while, the Super Nintendo era kind of blurs together. Anyway, feat of strength completed. The one of the prophecy. That's me. I should probably uh, stop to take a look around, huh? 
Man, this wall looks baller inside. I just wish it didn't sound like I was intruding on someone's grave with all the fucking whispering. Oh no. I wonder if I could get him to go off the cliff. What in the fuck are you? Nope. Magic sign. Skeletal spider. There are so many things wrong with that name, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, skeletal spider. Known for using its head's unique height to headbutt their prey. Once knocked unconscious, the skeletal spider can devour its prey at leisure. I mean, I would point out, for starters, the number of limbs, except I don't think any of the spiders we've met so far have had the right number of limbs. Uh, you know, I do know where to start with this. Uh, spiders don't have skeletons! They have exoskeletons. That's not just, you know, a cool word that, uh... You know, you can put in stuff because it sounds good. I mean, it is that, but it's not just that. It actually means something. So strictly speaking, a skeleton is just the, you know, support structure for a body. Uh, creatures like us and, you know, other mammals have an endoskeleton, which is in an internal reinforcement system. Creatures like bugs and spiders have an exoskeleton, which is, which is to say that they have an external reinforcement system and all their innards to sort of slosh around inside. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, green. Oh my god, that's the first one? Okay, well, fuck you. What is the puzzle here? Do I have to, like, make them die on this thing? I'm just gonna go up here. Since for some reason neither of you seem to show much sign of, uh... Oh no, maybe you can climb. Of course. Oh, no, he's like... Did I kite him too far and now he's uh, resetting? Like fucking World of Warcraft or something? Alright, goddammit, where's a note of paper? Okay, let's do this. First you're at the wrong one. Then... I no one has to see my handwriting, because it's terrible. I just wrote down the first letter of each uh, word really, really rapidly. B Y B Y R G B G Oh no, it's crab hands! Come on. Oh. I'll just kill you then. Nobody's asked for crab hands anyway. You got some ice darts. These magical darts can be used to freeze certain types of monster. Once a monster is frozen, you can push or pick up the block of ice depending on its size. You can also stand on top of the block of ice to reach an otherwise inaccessible area. Alternatively, you can shatter the block by hitting it with your blade.
Oh, that seemed to actually damage him. Oh. Oh, it's right here. Oh. He's mashing at this point. I need to calm my annoyance down. You need to aim and then select. It's a cool sound effect. Although, to be honest, I thought I was going to do this. Does this work? Nope. Ooh. Wait, that doesn't do me any good. Up here. Up here, little friend. Aha! I knew there was a piece missing there. You need to be dead. And I need to be over here. Oh, there's the timer. I did only set up for half a video. Uh, grab. Oh, fucking Christ. I was really hoping something would... Ah! You know, I was worried there for a bit that it would, it would uh, stop the third one. I assume there's a third one. This doesn't really seem to have changed anything. Oh, no, no, no. There might be a teleporter over there. Yes! We'll investigate that in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later!